Good afternoon, guys. How we doing? Chico here in the Marlin room. Let me start off by just saying hi to all our service members and law enforcement and first responders. We need you guys and we thank you for your service. And uh, with that, you can see I'm not downstairs and I've been working on a model that I said I wouldn't show, but I am gonna show it. Uh, it's coming out really good, this fantastic Voyage uh, model. My opinion, all right, my opinion. Um, but yeah, I, I think it's coming out pretty good and I wanna show it before it kinda of gets buttoned up. Um, so why don't we do that? You know, I mentioned that uh, this is the movie from 1966. 67, 66, I didn't check, but I know it's either 60, Raquel Welsh. So uh, once again, they shrink this submarine down to go inside a human body and go in the brain or something, cure something so that this guy can live. I think it might've been the president. But anyway, uh, long story short, why don't we look at the model? That's what we're here for. Uh, now, I've already showed this to the customer, so I don't want to screw nothing up. Um, but uh, first we're going to start with the cockpit. Uh, this is a view of the cockpit here. Um, there's a lot going on, so I'll, I'll kind of just take my time here. First of all, uh, this is a chart, uh, a chart uh, cabinet uh, with a computer screen there. You can see that there's a uh, a picture there, a decal one in there. Uh, I got cabinet with doors that actually open. Um, this is the command module. Every button in here I painted, no matter how small, and you won't see it, but every button and knob is painted, something I've never done before. So um, I'm gonna get ready to turn around. But anyway, this is a view. Uh, let's, let's look at the back of it. Um, so this is the, the quarters here. Um, now everything here except for the three walls, and I left them unglued so I could show you, but uh, you got a couch there, you got a sink, uh, you got a cabinet. Um, there's a, a space ray gun there, you can see that. All right. Um, and this is a tub, and the, the tub is gonna sit this is this is uh, in white primer, and uh, so this. Before I finish showing you, is just uh, yeah, it, it, it's, it's going to sit right in this. I'll show you in a second. But um, so these three walls I didn't glue in. I'm gonna bring the model back. But uh, this is the detail on the gauges, the conduits. I've never done anything. That intricate. I, I, it was really a challenge, uh, but uh, I think things came out well. As a matter of fact, the rivets weren't even supposed to be done. It was such a nice detail. I didn't want to. I didn't want to leave the rivets out, so I did them. I took a toothpick, and then just uh, paintbrush wasn't working, so I had to come up with something else. So here's here's another wall with the gauges. Now the gauges are details. Let me see if I can tap the screen here and make this come up a little bit better. So um, anyway, there's the gauges and all the buttons, red, green, yellow, you can see all that. And I've got one more wall here. Uh, now I'm building this, I'm building this the way the directions are calling for it. And I'm also, uh, the way it looks on the box. So like there's there's no uh, using panel lines or anything like that. Um, I'm gonna set the walls back in here so I can show you a couple other little things here and then we'll be done with this. Um, so just bear with me one second. Got that in so, and the fire extinguishers. Um, 
right there. Oh, excuse me, oxygen, oxygen, oxygen. So, so uh, this is a TV with uh, a decal in it and uh, black, uh, trimmed in black with uh, silver knobs. Uh, you can see uh, conduits and gauges and control panels for the uh, control pilot. There's actually a TV screen here with a decal in it. I don't want to touch it and screw it up. So it, it's interesting. And this is what it's looking like. And um, like I said, I don't want to screw up here. So uh, it sets, I'll set it in the tub so you'll see it. it sets right in the tub, like so. And then this upper half will go on it. There's a big dome that goes in the center. And I've got to spray paint this semi-gloss white and I'm not happy about that. That's a tough color to get right. So um, I will be taking my time on that. So um, that's the model. I've still got pieces here for the for the hole and uh, yellow hatches that go up on the, uh, the top and the bottom, the escape hatches. So it's an interesting, it's a fun model. I'm almost done with it, so the customer will get it pretty soon. Like I said, it's my first one. Those gauges took so long that um, I really wanted to do a good job, but uh, it's hard work when you don't want to screw something up. Um, I learned a couple things though. First of all, uh, if anybody's looking uh, at my videos and you're kind of new at building models, um, like I, I learned a lot from uh, the guy from the bench, does the spoons, uh, Midwest, uh, Norwegian model builder. Matter of fact, that's my enterprise up there I'm working on. Thank you, brother. Um, so um, I listened to, the, uh, listened to you guys. To me, it paints, and you can see I got a lot of them. I started with, to me, I kind of got comfortable with it. But to me, it paints, uh, um, when you're doing a project like this, uh, they scratch real easy. I, I found doing this model that I used some testers uh, gloss coat, and I did a 50-50 mix with this, this leveler here. Everybody knows what this is. Uh, Mr. Leveling Thinner here, 400, and uh, it, it wasn't such a heavy gloss, kind of a kind of a satin, and it made it so that the paint you don't scratch it when you're trying to put pieces in. So uh, something I've learned, and maybe uh, pass that on. If you're working on, with uh, a large open space and it's going to be seen, you don't want to see your paint all screwed up. So it was kind of a test, it worked, and um, I guess I'm passing that on. It, it worked for me. Uh, I did it, like I said, 50-50 of uh, gloss and uh, the thinner, and um, it worked out great. Uh, I didn't have to worry about scratching the, the paint anymore. And um, one more thing I want to pass before I uh, pass on before I go. You know, uh, we all do things to try and save money and I've been, my son gave me my first airbrush uh, and compressor and all and whatnot, and Master. And um, so I was using Master airbrushes and having a lot of problem. I built quite a few ships and boy, I tell you, I was really going through it. As a matter of fact, I've got about three of them here laying in, here's one here laying in the trash that, uh, just ain't got the heart to really throw it out, but it's in the trash. And uh, here's some of their newer ones now. They made them look a lot more, uh, what, what can we say, uh, uh, more, uh, not complicated, but more uh, high-tech, you might say, some added features. 
Um, but the one thing about master brushes is like every time you would use one or two colors, you would really have to clean that airbrush out, sometime with little wires. And um, uh, not too long ago, there was uh, a sale going on with Amazon, and the, the, our modeler from the bench mentioned an uh, airbrush that they had on sale for $45. So uh, I said, what the hell? Uh, I was... I wanted to get a good airbrush before I started this project. Now, I don't get paid. I've only got 400 some subscribers. So I'm not getting, there's not a nickel in this, nor do I, I want a nickel for anything. Uh, but this is just stuff that I've been kind of bumping into. And I think it's, it's pretty cool if I could just pass on a little bit now. I'm going to show you the name of this airbrush. Too much glare there. Um, I am not going to try and say it. Gay Hill, Hillary. I, I don't know. I'm going to give you. I'm going to give you another look at it real quick. So uh, I got this airbrush, and. Um, just like uh, he, he said when uh, he showed it on his YouTube channel, it comes with an extra cup, a very large cup, extra needle, 0.5. The one in there is a, a, a three, three point something, 3.5, or however you say it. Um, very nice airbrush. Matter of fact, I'm telling you this because I painted that whole model and the only thing that I did, I used red, black, green, blue, white, uh, every, all the colors, uh, some primers, and all I do is use a, a little thinner, a little thinner in it, a little thinner in it, uh, this is a small cup I have on there. Um, I just wipe it out just for, with a paper towel. I use a little Q-tip sometime, like on black or something, just to help get it off the wall. Cleans in seconds, uh, just a little thinner. I spray it. I have not taken this airbrush apart, and uh, it cleans in like minutes. I mean, you know, sometimes you say, oh, I got to clean my airbrush. And, you know, you're going to take the back off, but, you know, you're going to spend 35, 40 minutes doing that, put it together, check it. Uh, this, I, I can clean this, like, in five minutes. Um, maybe sometime even faster than that if it's only a small part I painted. And just a little thinner in there, and boom, it's done. Uh, I do have this stuff. It's non-toxic. Toxic. I bought this, I bought two jugs of this years ago now. And uh, I'm still working on the first one. It's non-toxic. I always put a splash of that in there uh, just to try and make sure seals and all and whatnot don't, don't go bad. So I won't say I just use it. I use this too. Uh, airbrush cleaner. I don't know. It's just something I got off of Amazon that I wanted just something non-toxic to uh, put in the brush. So um, I use that. But um, this airbrush is... Uh, really nice i showed you the name and take it from me uh this thing is a really nice airbrush to use it's not an iwata uh, I'm, I'm not ready to spend 200 dollars for an airbrush yet although maybe i should but uh and i'm not trying to be cheap anymore i just took a chance on this because it was uh, uh recommended by well, one of you guys off of youtube uh, so um, I want to say thank you. Uh, I've learned a lot from uh, YouTube and listening to a lot of you guys, a lot of my subscribers. And um, I think this is what it's all about, is uh, living and learning. So uh, I appreciate the help. Uh, it's done a great job helping me build this. Uh, that's really about it for now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start working on the, the, uh, the body of this thing. I got a lot to do because... Uh, like I said, all these uh, engine intakes are going to be painted black and 
Uh, I've still got a, a, a lot to do on this. So, but the interior is done. Uh, I've got just, I've got, I've got this big uh, door here that's got to get put in uh, and this uh, ladder and those three walls that uh, I showed you and done. So um, I'm moving right along. Yeah, I just wanted to show, this is a great airbrush and you don't, this is not gonna break the bank at all. 45 bucks. I think it was 45 bucks from Amazon shipped free. Um, and that's all I paid for it. And I think you can still get it for 45. But if you're looking for a good airbrush, not a cheap one, this is the airbrush uh, to get. All right, guys, uh, I'm gonna get on out of here. I got some cars downstairs and stuff I haven't got to yet. So maybe I'll get caught up on that too. But anyway, for now, all I can say is uh, it's 4.30. It's happy hour, so you know it makes me happy. Peace out. Stay safe. God bless all of you.